All right, in this video, we're going to look at writing the equations of lines given slope and one additional piece of information. And we'll, we will work several examples here and go over different methods that you can use to solve these. So the additional pieces of information will be uh, given slope and another point. Um, Next will be given slope and the y-intercept. Realize that the y-intercept is just a point as well. It's an individual ordered pair where the y-intercept occurs where x is 0. And, but that's a special case because in our y equals mx plus b format, which is the most powerful form of a line, because the slope and the y-intercept is given in the equation, the y-intercept um, makes it pretty easy if you're given slope and y-intercept to write it. The x-intercept uh, can also be given here and that's also called a root, a solution, or a zero uh, are other names for the x-intercept and realize that the x-intercept is just a point. It's, it's just an, a point as well, an ordered pair. All right, so we'll look at uh, each one of those uh, examples and, and work through and I'll show you uh, how to use your calculator as well on some of them. Okay, so let's look at this first example. We're given a slope of 3 and we pass through the point negative 8, 5. All right, I'm going to show you two ways to work this. I'm going to work using the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, and then I'm going to show you how to use the y equals mx plus b equation and solve for b first. So I'm going to put solve for b will be the method here and this will be the point slope method. Point slope. Alright and realize once you have the b value meaning the y-intercept here and the slope you can write the equation of any line. Those are the only two pieces of information that you need to find in order to write it. All right, so here we're given our m is 3, so I'm going to put m there. This is our x-coordinate. We'll label it x1, and this is our y-coordinate, y1. So let's use this method over here first. All right, so we're just going to fill this in. Okay, so we have y stays the same, y minus the y1, which is our y-coordinate, y minus 5, equals slope m is our slope, 3 times the quantity x minus x1, which x1 is our coordinate. So it's minus negative 8, that becomes plus 8. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. Next we distribute here and here. We'll leave y minus 5 the same. 3 times x, 3x. Three, 3 times 8, 24. Next thing we need to do is add 5, add 5, and we will get y equals 3x, 24 plus 5 is 29. Okay? All right. Now, personally, I like my students to use this form over here simply because you don't have to distribute, and uh, I just see more mistakes made with this form uh, than, than this method I'm about to show you. But... It's up to you. I also tell my students, with whichever method gives you the right answer the majority of the time, the most uh, and most of the time, that's the method I want you to use. So uh, I'm sure your teacher is the same way. All right. So we're going to fill this in. Y equals MX plus B. So we're given the M, we're given the X, and we're given the Y. So our job here is to solve for B right there. Okay. All right, let's do that. So let's fill it in. So our y is 5, so 5 equals our m is 3 times our x, which is negative 8, plus b. So we're solving for b here. When we solve for b, we get b by itself. So 3 times negative 8 is a negative 24, so now we have 5 equals negative 24 plus b. We need to add 24, add 24. And that gives us 29 equals B. So we have our B right here. And we have our M right here. So now we can write the equation as Y equals the M that we were given, 3 
times x plus the b we were given, plus 29. So we got the same answer using two different methods. So you use the method that you like better. Uh, usually, again, my students have the most success using this one in solving for b. Remember, once you find b and you find m, or you have m and you have b, you can write the equation. And I, this is the most powerful equation of a line, this y equals mx plus b, because your slope and your y-intercept are right here in the form. That's why it's the most important form of a line. All right, let's look at the next example. All right, in this example, we're given m and we're given the y-intercept, so this is easy. This is a piece of cake. This is just simply y equals negative 7x plus 4. We're given our b value here, we're given our m value here, so it's it's simple. We just plug in the m there and the b there and we're done. So that one that one's about as easy as they get. Alright, let's look at another example. Alright, in this example we're given uh, our slope of 2 and an x-intercept of negative 1. So our m, m equals 2, and our x-intercept negative 1, realize that's just a point. That is an ordered pair. That's all it is. It's where the line crosses the x-axis, which means y is 0, and the x-intercept they tell you is negative 1, so x is equal to negative 1. So it's the point, negative 1, comma, 0. All right, so let's, let's do both methods. We'll use point slope first. Remember, point slope was y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And over here we'll use y equals mx plus b solving for b. Solve for b. Alright, so let's fill this in. We'll label this as our x1 and y1. So we're given m and a point. Remember, x-intercept is just a point. Alright, so we have y minus 0 because our y coordinate is 0 equals m of 2 times the quantity x minus negative 1 our x is negative 1 minus a negative 1 becomes a plus 1 okay distribute and we get 2x plus 2 over here we just distributed 2 times x 2x 2, x. two times 1 is 2 all right and this equals y minus 0 okay this 0 is just going to fall off so I'm going to write it this way just drop that zero. So it's y equals 2x plus 2. That's the answer. All right, so let's use this form. So our y is equal to zero. Our slope is 2 times our x, negative 1, plus b. So then we have zero equals 2 times negative 1, negative 2, plus b. We need to get b by itself, so we're going to add 2, add 2, and we get 2 equals b. So we have b and we have m. Now we can write our equation. That's all we need. y equals 2x plus 2. Okay, we got the same answer either way, both ways. We use our point slope formula and then we just use the y equals mx plus b and solved for b. All right, let's look at another example. Okay, in this example, we're given a slope of 1 third and an x-intercept negative 8. So again, x-intercept is just a point so let's write out what we're given m equals one-third one-third and our x-intercept of negative eight that means we're we have the point negative eight comma zero okay so we're given x1 y1 all right now let's use both methods we'll use point slope over here that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 We'll use that first. So let's fill this in. We have y minus 0 equals our m of 1 third times x minus a negative 8. Minus negative 8 becomes plus 8. All right, so now we distribute. So we get y minus 0 is just y. So I'm going to leave that y. Now distribute here and here. So 1 third times x is 1 third x. One third times eight is just eight over three. We'll just leave it as eight over three. We can't simplify that anymore. And as a decimal, uh, we don't want to write that decimal out. So the, the simplified form, most simplified form is to leave that as eight thirds. One third times eight is eight thirds. All right, so let's look at, let's use, pull our calculator up here. 
<clears throat> and say that I'm gonna move it over here for a second. Alright, so let's say that um, you had uh, move it over here, that'll work. You weren't sure what one third times eight was. So we always put fractions in parentheses, so that's parentheses one third times eight. Alright, that gives us two and two thirds. 2.6 repeating. Now, if you weren't sure what that was as a fraction, we can always use math. Enter, enter. So we are converting that into a fraction. So math, enter, enter one more time. And that gives us 8 thirds, which is what we ended up with. Okay? So you can always do that if you're not sure um, what the fraction is. Okay? Let's get that out of the way. All right, now let's use our y equals mx plus b method. Y equals mx plus b. All right, so we're given y is 0. So 0 equals our m is 1 third times our x of negative 8. And plus b. Okay, so 1 third times negative 8, we already saw, is, is 8 thirds. In this case, it's negative 8 thirds. Negative times a positive is a negative equals zero. We'll add eight thirds to both sides. These will cancel. Add eight thirds to zero, and that just gives us eight thirds. So eight thirds equals b. And now we have our b right here and our m right there. So we just write our equation. Y equals one third x plus our b, which is eight thirds. Okay, same answer either way. Okay, all right, let's look at one last example and we'll call this good. And uh, this will be part one of several videos on writing the equations of lines. And uh, we'll, we'll discuss how to write the equation given multiple points and a couple of other different situations in future videos. But just one more example for this one and we'll call it good. All right, in this last example, we're given an m of 10. Our slope is 10, and our y-intercept is at the origin. Remember, the y-intercept is just a point, but when we're writing it in y equals mx plus b format, we have our b right there, the origin. What's the origin? The ordered pair for the origin is 0, comma 0. That means our y value is 0. And remember that our y-intercept is written as 0, comma b. The b value in this case, would be 0 because when x is 0, the y-intercept is the y-coordinate. Okay, That's why 0, comma b will always be true. All right, Now make sure that makes sense. 0, comma b will be your y-intercept because whatever y is equal to when x is 0, that is your y-intercept. So in this case, our y-intercept is 0. So we can just simply write this y equals our slope 10, 10x plus our b value of 0, which simplifies to y equals 10x. Realize whenever you have y equals 10x or y equals 2 thirds x, and that's it, there's an implied plus 0 that we just leave off. So anytime there's no additional number here after the, the m and x, the slope with x, then that means it goes through the origin. It is a proportional relationship because linear through the origin is the definition of proportional. Okay, realize there's still a plus zero here. We just leave it off because it's implied uh, to be zero. All right, make sure that that makes sense. I want to show you real, really quickly why why this is all true and why when you're given the y-intercept, you're going to end up with this form right here, even if you plugged it into point slope. So let's do that real quick. So remember, we were given um, an x1 of zero and a y1 of 0. When we were given this point, the y-intercept is just 0, comma 0. So let's plug that into y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, so we have y minus 0 equals 10, our slope, times x minus 0. All right, we distribute 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 0 is 0, so we have a basically a minus 0 here. Y minus 0 cancels. The minus 0 just falls off, I mean. I shouldn't say cancels. It just falls off. So we have Y equals 10X minus 0 or Y equals just 10X. Okay, we got the same same value here. 
Now let's plug it into the other method we were using, the y equals mx plus b, and we will see that we get a b value of 0 out of this when we solve for b. So let's plug it in. Our y value is 0 equals our slope 10 times our x value 0 plus b. 10 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 equals 0 plus b. Subtract 0, subtract 0, and we just get 0 equals b. So if b equals 0, it's just y equals 10x plus 0 or y equals 10x. All right. Okay, so stay tuned to the next videos in this series on writing the equations of lines. Make sure and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mr. Howard Math, and post comments and ask questions. I'm here to help. See you in the next video.